Hello everyone, here I am again. Uh, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna... Actually, it's not a SMD soldering tutorial. There's plenty of those already on the internet, on YouTube. Uh, what I'm gonna do actually, I'm just gonna show this little kit that I found in uh, AliExpress, which is a SMD soldering practice kit. Uh, as everything China, it's, it was incredibly cheap. It was like $1. And it comes with a little board, as you can see, with many uh, typical footprints for SMD uh, work. So 805, 0603, etc. Uh, and as I understand, I think if you power it up, I mean, like, put a plus, plus something here, like let's say 12 volts or something like that, and then the minus goes here, it's going to lit up a LED at the end. Because I think one of these, you see you have four diodes, but I think the last one here is a, an LED, so I understand, you know, the the intent of this uh, practice kit is for you to put everything together and then if the LED lights up, it means you succeeded, so uh, pretty nice kit, as I said, one dollar, I'll put the link down below in a, in a video description. Uh, and well, the reason I, I bought this is because I'm no expert in SMD soldering myself. Uh, I'm pretty much, a, I was pretty much a hardcore <laughs> uh, through haul guy, but reality is that, you know, many parts, you know, these days you want to get uh, SMD. So you gotta, gotta at some point accept that you have to learn how to solder SMD things. And well, this was a nice kit for practice. So yeah. Got a bunch of resistors. Uh, I don't know if they have spares or what, but wait. And then you also have a few diodes here. Uh, there's here's the LED, right? So let me just show you here. Oops. Well, it's never gonna auto focus, but yeah. Anyways, and then we have. Uh, this is an. So. B16 package is it? Yeah, I think it is. And a bunch of transistors here, which are SOT23 package, I guess. As I said, I hope I'm getting terminology right here because I'm not an SMD expert at all. But well, that's it. Uh, here's the equipment I have. It's not the best, as I understand. When you watch some of these tutorials on the internet, they say, you know, it's better for you to have a soldering iron that is. Uh, that has a flat um, tip. Mine is, well, it's never gonna focus, is it? Yeah, I mean, mine is just the regular uh, pointy kind of tip, but I do at least have the finer kind of uh, solder. You know, I think this is half millimeter. Uh, it's not lead free, it's leaded, leaded stuff, because yeah, that's much easier. Um, so that's it. Let me get started here in a minute and uh, I'll show you guys the result. I'm probably not going to be filming the whole exercise because <laughs> it's going to be boring, but I'll try and show the end result just so you guys can see how the kit works. And if you want to buy some, go ahead and do it. I think it's going to be a great practice for SMD work for those who are not good yet. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm ready to start. Let me just show you one interesting thing. If I show you the board against light, you can see that the pattern is pretty simple. It's basically, uh, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, all of these resistors here are in series and then you snake your way around here, here, then here. Then you go up and then you go through the diodes here and then you go through the LED and then you go back to the negative terminal. So yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, it's just a bunch of series resistors with an LED and a few diodes, and then it's gonna turn on. It's gonna have to be quite a large voltage, I guess, because of all the diodes in series plus the resistors. I don't know. Uh, each diode is 0.6 volts, so it's gonna be at least 2.4 volts across the four diodes here, plus the LED, which is gonna be like another couple of volts, and then all the resistors. I don't know, maybe. 12 volts might do it, but I don't know. Let's see. All right, so I got all the 1206 
parts or what well, not all but all of them but the resistors at least all soldered uh let me see if i can focus uh it took me roughly 10 minutes not too bad i think for a beginner uh, yeah finally focused i'm not quite sure if you can see the quality of it it i mean if i was to grade myself i think i would give me i don't know seven out of ten or maybe six and a half I tend to put too much solder on it, so I have to fix that, but I think most of them are fine. Uh, yeah, reasonably well soldered at least. Uh, okay, let me continue. Okay, yeah, now I have finished the 0805 resistors here. It's incredible how soldering is all about practice, indeed. These uh, nine resistors, 1206, I took about nine minutes so let's say one minute per resistor these ones we have 20 in total and it took me roughly 15 minutes maybe even less so yeah much much more efficient uh and most of that was for placing the part so one thing i did different this time was i i placed most of them and then i just go soldering all the way down maybe it's obvious for those who have practiced already but for me the other ones here i i did one by one so yeah stupid but yeah, learn my lesson is too. There are some that have too much soda, I guess, but yeah, I think I'm getting better at gouging the quantity of soda per joint. All right, so I did the 12, the 06, 03s, and oh man, this is embarrassing. <laughs> it was, it's not good at all. I'll come back to this, but I even burned one of the resistors. They are supposed to be. 15 ohms I think and one of them were was measuring I don't know 50 ohms because I think I burned it or something but yeah I'll come back to it I think I will do the diodes now and then maybe the LED and then rework the 0603s but yeah looks like that is sort of my limit at this point uh, my equipment also doesn't help I think that's where the equipment starts to get in the way maybe uh, the tip of my soldering iron is I mean well I can brighten it up a little bit with uh, some solder that's not a problem I think but I mean it's just like a I think it's it's not a sharp sharp tip at all so let me just try and focus that but yeah you see it's not a very sharp uh, tip it's also not one of those that uh, how do you say that Kizzo or Chizo or yeah those that look like a screwdriver it's not one of those it's just a sticky kind of uh, tip so not good at all and well and I don't have any flux I have to get some flux I think uh, like a flux pen or something just to help me with the soldering I think that's gonna make a big difference but yeah <laughs> I'll just go to the diodes now and do the other stuff and see you know, if that at least I can do, but the 1206, uh, the 0603 uh, size has been a disaster. Okay, done with the diodes now, the bigger ones at least. Uh, well, they're much easier to do, so yeah, some nice shiny joints in there. Uh, so yeah, this was better. I'll do the LED now, and let's see how it goes. Oh, by the way, I did it maybe just under three minutes or so so yeah those are much easier but well let's see okay so I finally got it done uh, so you can see all the diodes here the LED I worked a little bit the 0603 part because that was all messed up <laughs> even I mean I gave up on some of the resistors that I think I burned and I just made solder breaches here and there uh, but well, I mean, <laughs> at least it works now. Um, I can measure the resistance here of the, of, I mean, up to the diet here. And it's about 1.3K. Let me just show you the mode meter there. So yeah, 1.3 uh, <laughs> It should be 40, uh, 30 ohms more than that, but anyways, <laughs> those resistors are not going to make a difference, I guess. Now I'm going to actually turn it on. I mean, uh, 1.3K, uh, 5 volts should barely do it. Let, let's try it 5 volts and uh, see if it lights up the LED. 
brightly or yeah let's see how it goes and then ah voila uh, but that's too shabby let me do 12 volts ah that's better so cool yeah I guess I I passed the test but not very well because of those two bridges and uh, yeah I mean it sucks <laughs> uh, I want to I won't be doing these uh, transistors and this actually didn't I didn't get the component or the uh, circuit uh, the chip for doing this uh, SSOP 28 package I did get a sub 16 here uh, but I won't be doing those I mean this was fun but if I do those it would just be boring uh, it works already I got some more of this kits here unopened uh, that I'm gonna be doing probably to practice a little bit more because I surely need it but I learned a few things also already uh, so I do need a better soldering iron I mean I have this cheap ass soldering station uh, I mean it has, has done me well with the uh, through hole parts and it's, it's, a, it's good but it it's uh, tip is gonna have to be replaced I guess at least or I don't know maybe I can use that as an excuse to buy a new one uh, this was also very helpful uh, this little you know lens thing uh, but yeah so yeah it was fun good learning I'll put the link to the uh, AliExpress uh, uh, thing that I bought this from it's as I said before one buck so well worth it it could come with a few extra resistors for <laughs> for dummies like me who burned them up but anyways that's not a big deal all right see you next time bye, -bye.